Hey, Hubert, do you have any update on Power of One? <laughs> <laughs> that would be an interesting press conference. Yeah. <laughs> I'm out. <laughs> yeah. Ken's got a Hubert after dark. Yeah. Um, yeah. Do you have any update on how Armando's doing? Um, he's doing um, really well. He's. Um, I was surprised that um, the way he was able, he didn't practice yesterday, but I was surprised the way that he was moving yesterday. Um, he's improving a lot. I, I don't know if he'll play tomorrow, but um, I was really encouraged by um, the way that he moved yesterday. And so um, we've got practice at three. I haven't seen him yet. And so I'll look and uh, we'll talk. And uh, But the most important thing, as I've always said, is, is the players. And um, I want Armando and I want Pete healthy. With Pete, is there anything updating him? Yeah, he continues to get better. I, I think he's. I think I would. I would probably say Armando's closer to possibly, possibly playing tomorrow than than Pete. But you know, for somebody that at times has struggled with back issues, it, you know, it's it's all about um, uh, flexibility. It's all, all. It's about strength, and it's improving every day. He could be ready tomorrow as well. Um, but if I would guess, I would say Armando is further along, and Armando is still very questionable um, at best to, uh, to play tomorrow against Louisville. You mentioned caring about the player's health first, obviously, and knowing what a, a back is like. Is this a situation with Pete where you consider just like giving him a week or two and saying, hey, just just really get back to 100% before we even try to test anything? Well, I, you know, it's not really, you know, a time frame in terms of like, let, let's take 10 days, let's take 14 days. I, you know, the back is, you know, when it's, when all the muscles are loose and, and there's, there's strength there and stability there, whether it takes one day or 21 days, I just want to make sure that, you know, Pete, health-wise is in a great spot. And so it could be tomorrow, it could be today, it could be next week. Um, but I, I don't ever put a time frame on it. I just want the guys healthy to be able to play. Coach, um, Jalen played extended minutes the other night. How's he feeling? Jalen Washington, how's he feeling with his knees? Is he good to go? Yeah, Jalen feels great. Um, he had a, a really good day of practice yesterday, and I, I just was really proud of him. You know, I've said before, so many times that you know your job as a player is when your number is called, you need to be ready. And it was a great example of his number being called, and he was ready. And he played extremely well. And you know, I was happy that people can see how talented he is and the potential that he has, because we get to see it every day in practice. And I was really happy um, for him look for him to continue to improve and get better and be out there on the floor. What's his endurance level right now? If, if Pete and Armando couldn't play, yeah. how many minutes could you get out of him? I don't know exactly how many minutes. I, I, you know, I think, you know, one of the things with basketball is, you know, the only way that you can really get into basketball shape is play basketball. You know, and he hasn't, you know, he didn't play his senior year of high school and at the beginning of the year, he was limited in terms of what he can do five on five at the beginning of the year. And so um, I think his conditioning level is a 10 out of 10, but it's also got to get a 10 out of 10 out there on the floor, you know? And so this is, you know, there's a difference. And, and so, uh, but I was encouraged how many minutes he played um, at Virginia. I think the game, with Louisville will be at a faster pace, and so that'll be different. And so I can answer that question a little bit better um, at about 4 or 4.30 tomorrow. What, what do you think he learned from that game uh, with his most extended minutes he's had? I don't, I don't necessarily think he's thinking, what, you know, what, he, what did he learn? I just, there's a joy about being out there on the floor again. He just loves to play. He's an unbelievable kid to coach. All the guys on the team just adore him. And, you know, it's been a while since he's been out there on the floor. And for him to get that opportunity and for an extended period of time and to be able to have success, 
I think there was joy. I think there was confidence. I think there was relief. Um, I think all those things. And so I, I was just, again, I was just really happy for him. Ever when you were dealing with him in practice or working with him and bringing him along, were there a, was there a couple things that you said jumped off that you said, hey, this is where he's he's really picking things up. He's he's ready. Like, were there one or two things in particular you were most pleased with before he got you know more and more minutes? Well, I've always been pleased with him since recruiting him. I, extremely um, <laughs> pleased with um, him as a player and his personality and his character and the family that he comes from. And so um, in him coming back, I understand, not because I've been in that situation, but I've seen it, you know, being out of basketball that long for a year, um, I didn't want to rush him back. I wanted, I wanted to make sure Obviously, that you know, from a physical standpoint, that he was in shape. I wanted to make sure, from a strength standpoint, that he um, was strong enough to be able to get extended minutes. And I just, I didn't have like a certain time frame in terms of how to increase his minutes. I just knew that I, I didn't want him to go from zero to a hundred. I wanted to be a gradual. Um, increase in terms of his workload because even if you're 100 percent healthy and you played your senior year I still think it's a huge step coming from high school and playing at this level and so there's a number of factors that I had in play that I thought about with Baycott being questionable and Nance obviously behind him who do you kind of turn to uh, obviously Jalen but there's gonna be other guys playing more at the four and the five yeah what, what's that rotation look like? I don't know. <laughs> I'll let you know at 4.30. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I mean, use McCoy, use the yeah. Puffs on. Yeah. yeah. That look like Anybody so? that's healthy and has a uniform on, they'll be ready to play. Um, there'll be, you know, there'll be some unconventional lineups up, out there on the floor tomorrow. And um, it is what it is. Uh, we'll be ready. Do you see that as something of a silver lining that even without those two guys, maybe some other guys get more opportunities and in different spots than they would potentially otherwise if, if keeping them on or left in the lineup? Yeah, I mean, you know, as I said before, you know, you just never know when your number is going to be called and, you know, the opportunity you know, that you have a chance to be out there on the floor, you have to be ready. And, and um, I've been in that situation before. I've, I've been in that situation where. I've been, my number has been called, and I've been in that situation before when my number was called, and it was called at a different position. And I got playing time, and I had to step up, and I had to do my job. And so um, this, is, this is a great opportunity and a great lesson for all of our guys. Um, they're prepared and ready to play, and at the end of the day, at 2 p.m., North Carolina's playing Louisville, and uh, North Carolina's going to show up and, and compete against a really, really good Louisville team. Coach, aside from the scoring and the rebounding that Armando brings, are there any like little things or intangibles that he brings on the court that now you guys have to look to replace? Well, I, you know, for Armando, you know, the, the many things that he brings to the table, like you just can't, okay, he's out, let's just replace. That just doesn't happen. Armando is just an elite special player, you know? So his ability not only to score consistently down low in the paint, the only person that can do that is Armando. He's an elite rebounder. The only person that can do that is Armando. So, you know, how do we consistently score points in the paint? Uh, he does a great job of drawing fouls and helping us get to the penalty so we can get to the free throw line. Well, you know, we've got to find other ways from other people to be able to attack the basket through poster penetration to score around the basket to get to the free throw line. And, um, you know, we don't have that that guy that can block and alter shots around the basket. And so we have to find ways to contain um, um, Louisville and protect the paint. And so I don't think it's a situation of how can we plug somebody in or plug people in and replace exactly what Armando does. I just think everybody has to step up and, and do what they can do out there on the floor. and if. I think one thing that when we played against Virginia and I told them and I told you guys, the guys that played at Virginia, 
after Armando got hurt, is good enough to win games. Plain and simple, period, the end. Do you feel more confident in your bench than you did a month ago, maybe, because you've been able to use more rotation these past two weeks? Um, or maybe you're more encouraged by their performance? Um, you know, I, uh, the thing that I love about um, the bench and um, you know the guys that have gotten extended minutes is is the opportunities that they've gotten and they've been able uh, for themselves to gain confidence out there on the floor. And so, um, you know, unfortunately, it's it, you know you don't you want Armando and you want Pete still in the lineup, but it gives you know guys like Jalen and, and and Justin and um, Tyler and. Dontrez an opportunity to be out there on the floor and I just think that always helps because there's going to be times even when we're all healthy that their number still is going to be called and when you have that experience of, of, of being out there on the floor and being successful and having those experiences um, I think it I think it gives them confidence and I think it gives me confidence as a coach as well with Seth playing extended minutes um, what does essentially adding another primary ball handler often alongside Caleb or RJ do for your guys' offense and creating opportunities for you? Well, I just, you know, I love multiple ball handlers out there on the floor. It's not just with, you know, Seth and is on the floor with RJ and Caleb, you know, if all healthy, you know, it's RJ and Caleb alongside Leakey. You know, over the last couple of years, Leakey has led our team in assist to turnover ratio. And so, um, when Pete's out there, he's a fantastic passer at the power forward position. And so um, I love having multiple guys out there that can make plays. I think it helps us from an offensive standpoint. I think it helps us in terms of taking care of the basketball and being able to handle pressure, whether it's full court trap or any types of different coverages in the half court set. And so having Seth out there alongside Caleb and RJ, I think it, it helps our team have another guy that can create shots, not only for himself, but also for his teammates. And I just always think that's good news for us. And um, I like having that out there on the floor. When you watch him move on tape, what sort of stands out to you? And also, do you what, what's sort of your relationship like with Kenny? Are you guys close or friends, or do you guys have much of a relationship? Well, I mean, you know, when I look at them on tape, they, I think they're extremely talented. They have tremendous size. They can rebound the basketball. They can get after it on their defensive end. They're very athletic. On um, offensive end, um, Ellis is, is, he can score, he can distribute um, extremely quick, and he's had some good games against us, uh, especially at Louisville last year. And um, they, they can score consistently down low on the paint. And they've got some guys that um, are feeling very confident in terms of shooting. Um, from the outside as well. And so, you know, one of the things that I told the team is it, not just for Louisville, just for everyone, it's just you should never just look at the record. You know, this is a very good basketball team that is improving and that's getting better. And um, they're going to be ready to go. And it's going to be a great and competitive game tomorrow. And uh, we're excited about the challenge of, of playing them. And in terms of um, um, knowing Kenny Payne, I mean, we're friends. I, we don't have a, like a close relationship, but that's because we've never worked together and we've never played with each other. Uh, but I will say this, um, when Coach Williams asked me to be uh, an assistant coach, um, there were two people that uh, pulled me aside on my first time that I went out recruiting and they said, congratulations, you're gonna love coaching. Um, uh, one was uh, Steve Wojciechowski from Duke, and the other one was Kenny Payne when he was at Kentucky. And both of those guys pulled me inside and they said, I'm so glad that you left ESPN and that now you're coaching because this is a great profession and you're gonna love being around and working with kids. And so um, he was one of them that said that. Time for a couple more before we get, not coincidentally, Jalen in here. Anybody else for favorite? Yeah. Um, with Caleb, Caleb struggled, struggling shooting the last couple of weeks, is there any piece of advice you've been able to give him, or is that something you know he'll just get through? Well, you know, one of the things that, that I've talked to him about is that he's a basketball player. You know, he's just not a shooter. 
or mm -hmm. score. There's so many things in his bag that he can bring to the table that not only is a benefit to him, but also this team. And so Caleb uh, can be an unbelievable defensive player. Uh, I love the way that he guarded against Wake Forest. I think he can, um, his ability, and he has a gift of being able to create and uh, distribute the ball. And even though we did lose to um, Virginia earlier this week, he led the team in assists with five assists. And so there's a number of different things that I think Caleb can do. And, and you know, one of the things that I always, not just Caleb, but anybody, when from an offensive standpoint, you feel like you're struggling a little bit or your percentages are down, I think, you know, the first thing that you look at, is there anything, you know, in terms of form? And there's nothing there. You look at shot selection, you know, what type of shots, and then also just the ability to do other things and take your mind off the shot mm -hmm. and, and uh, continue to shoot good shots, continue to attack the basket, continue to get to the free throw line. And I think those things uh, contribute and help uh, shooting the ball better when your percentages are struggling a little bit. But it doesn't bother me at all. Caleb is a great basketball player, and he's a guy that has no fear, and at any time he can – Get and make and take a, a big shot. You know, I love having them out there on the floor, and I love coaching them. You've not won a um, road game, true road game yet. Thank you. you. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Do you uh, talk your team off that at all? Like, no. Let's go get this one, or like no. Yeah, no. Okay. no, I just and the reason I don't is because I don't know what benefit that is yeah. to our team. I, I, you know, if I go into the locker room, we start practice at three. Guys, we we haven't won on the road a true road game this year. We have got to have this one. I don't know how that moves the needle in terms of being more prepared or more focused. I, you, know, you try to win them all. You try to win them all. Yeah. And home, road, neutral, we try to win them all. And you know, the next game on our schedule is playing at Louisville, and so our full attention is on them and playing the best that we can become tomorrow and see what happens. Thank you, Coach. We'll get Jalen.